All right, welcome back to the unknown, what is it called? Unnamed how-to video series with me, Taylor Schultz. Today we're talking about candies. What is candies? Well, it's not the stuff you put in your mouth. It is the stuff that makes stuff like this. So it's a transparent ink dye that goes into any clear coat binder, SG100 from House of Color. There's a couple other products out there. Um, you can put it in Transnebulae as well, which is another House of Color product. And you can add it to UKK01, which is an activated clear coat. That is best for like an overall on a car. But to achieve these style of patterns and layouts and panels and this and that, we usually mix it with SG100. So today I'm gonna to show you how I do it. And uh, we're gonna do it over these little spray outs. So that way you can see the different color candies over different color bases. So just to give you an idea, whatever color base is underneath the candy changes the overall look and color of the uh, final product. So to give you an idea to, to do this, these are all different layers of other candies, pagan gold, root beer, uh, I think that one's purple, teal, green. And to achieve this look, it's just different layers of coats on a silver metal flake base. So that being said, we're just gonna mix up some SG100 with some dye. We're gonna use some uh, KK11, some apple red and uh, we're just gonna spray it over these spray outs just so you get an idea of the different color bases with the same color candy on top. So I usually like to mix mine two to one. Uh, we're using an RU311 reducer. You can go one to one. Sometimes it can get a little blotchy, especially over big panels because you're reducing it down so much, you're having less binder, more reducer. Um, I usually just stick to two to one. So let's mix up some paint. Is that good, JG? Definitely, if you're doing this at home, wear a mask. I'm not wearing a mask so I can talk to you. Good die young. Um, so it's, a, it's an absolutely clear product. This is pretty much a base coat binder without any pigment in it. So with that being said, you can add flake to this. You could add pearl to this. You could lock down artwork with it. You can use it as a blending agent for you guys that are familiar with like refinish systems. You can also spot in candies with this, which is what I recommend. We'll go over that again in another episode. But we're gonna mix this two to one. People always ask me all the time how much candy I put into my binder. I always tell them I don't put more than 20% because you're putting more product in it than binder will hold. I usually do it by feel though. I usually uh, add some to it. And I usually do like a stick test. So. So you can see it's just a transparent. In the early days they added dyes and binders and stripped them down and added them to clear coats and achieved like that look. Nowadays, these dyes, especially the ones from House of Color, they're so crisp and clean that it's just, it's amazing, it's awesome. I'll add a little bit more for you fellas at home. General rule of thumb, if it looks dark on the stick, it's usually right where you need it to be. If it looks light on the stick, chances are you're gonna be struggling with more coats. Definitely don't go more than four coats of SG100 over any base. You have the risk of it splitting, being soft, especially on motorcycle parts that you're bolting up.
Show this bad dog up. Now what we're gonna do, is I'm just gonna spray the same candy over three different bases. Gold, darker silver, and like a charcoal. Just so you guys get an idea of what it looks like using the same candy over different base colors. I'm gonna start with the gold. Once again, I'm not wearing a mask, and I know that. So I just got a little LPH 80 that I use for a lot of times for doing little fades and little um, tricks. It's a great all around gun. So with golds, especially with the apple red, tend to pick up a lot more of the, the oranger side of the apple red. With this charcoal, you'll probably see a lot of the bluer side. That's just one coat. So we'll probably do three coats just to give you a true effect. Bam. That's the gold one. That's the charcoal. And one thing you gotta remember too about if you're putting red a lot of the, like the warmer tones, brandy wine, apple red, you're putting them over silver. Let's say you're doing a fade like this and you're doing over silver and you're lightening up the fade to where you're just getting the most minimal amount of candy faded over it. I try and do it over gold with the reds because what happens is when it's over silver, I see this every, all the time on Instagram and everything else is guys are doing it and they're trying to fade out red over silver and what happens is it gets, turns into pink. So don't do that. It just doesn't look right. And eventually it's, it's I don't know. I just hate the way it looks. So just to give you an idea, there's silver, gold, and a charcoal. You can just see how this one's like a medium. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. This one's orangier. This one's a real dark red. And that's the same apple red candy, but with different bases. So you can clear this and to remember too is if you're leaving SG100 past four to six hours, I usually like to take a little gray Scotch-Brite, Scotch-Brite it up, keep going the next day even. And then before I go to clear, I'll just put one coat over the whole thing 
of SG100 just to lock everything down, kind of reactivate it so the clear will stick better to it. So when you are spraying candies, it's important to, to keep the, the overlap of your spray the same, usually 75 to 80% overlap. And it's important that you do it evenly. Um, a lot of times guys, they'll over mix their candies or they'll under mix their candies. When you overmix it, the first coat's gonna wanna cover everything, you'll get dark spots. When you under mix your candy, this, into your binder, what happens is that you're not putting enough on, so you gotta hose it, and you gotta put more and more to get the desired coverage you need. So keep that in mind, practice makes perfect. Um, definitely try some good products when you're using it, try and, use, try and go out and buy some House of Color. Buy some House of Color. So now you guys know the basic idea of candies. We're gonna be doing some more with some in-depth details about how to do the lights and tape outs and all that good stuff with candy use. Uh, we're gonna do a spot in candy job to where we can do like a, uh, I'll show you guys how to repair something that was candy painted and you have to spot it in without having to paint the whole thing. So I'll go over that um, and we're out.